Hey folks, welcome to Quantsap. In today's video, we will understand about option creeks and how can we go ahead and tackle those option creeks. So as we all know, options are sensitive to a lot of variables other than just the underlying price. Something like time and implied volatility also affects our option premiums. But how much time impacts our option premium, how much implied volatility affects our option premium is shown to us by option creeks. So today we will first understand about Greeks and then we will understand how to actually tackle uh, the option Greeks. So let's start this video by looking at the option Greeks. So to introduce all of you to option Greek, I'll just navigate you to option chain. By the way, option chain analytic is, uh, is an essential analytic. So all the information related to options is present here in this screen. So now it's very simple to read screen in between there are strike prices left hand side call options and uh, right hand side put options. Over here we'll get to see the premium, we will get to see the implied volatility, the volume and the open interest. But what we are interested in today's video is the Greeks, the Delta, the Theta, the Vega and the Gamma. Okay, so we will understand it one by one. So before I move forward. Anybody who has signed up Quantsap has an access to this free option chain which updates in real time. So if you haven't signed up yet, then the link would be there in the description box below. Please do sign up. So now, for, before I move forward, when we talk about option Greeks, so understand one thing that whenever we are looking at a particular Greek, we are assuming that the rest factors might remain constant. Okay. So when we are understanding the impact of price on the option, that means we are keeping other factors constant. We are keeping time constant. We are taking, uh, keeping implied volatility constant. Okay. So whatever Greek that we are studying. So in order to study those, we need to keep in mind that the other constant will remain the same. Other factors will remain the same. So let's understand Delta. So what is Delta? Delta shows us how much one point movement in the underlying will affect our option premium. If the underlying moves up by one point or down by one point, what will be the impact of that one point movement on the option is shown to us by delta. So if I'm getting to see that the delta is 0 0.54, that means if PFC moves up by one point, this option will move up by 0 0.54 pesa. Okay. Similarly, if it moves down, if PFC moves down by one point, then this option will move down by 0 0.54 rupees. Okay, so half a pesa movement might happen if PFC moves up or down by one rupees from here. Okay, so delta, it's very simple. It shows us how much impact of underlying will affect our option premium. So for that, let me just show you a visual demonstration. Can calculator. Okay. So this is a simple calculator. I'm pretty sure all of you might be aware about it. So it's basically trying to show us that if I want to pre-calculate an option premium that if Nifty is at 19,705 for 28th September expiry, 19,700 strike price, evaluation date as on today, volatility 10%. If these are the scenarios, what would be the option premium? So obviously this is an hypothetical premium that I'm trying to calculate. So over here the premium would be 103 rupees for call and 98.3 rupees for put. Now over here the delta is 0 0.51. Okay, 0 0.51 and over here the delta is 0 0.48. Now what does that tell us? That if Nifty moves up by one point from here, this will move up by 0.51. This will move down by 0 0.48. Okay, so let's see. Calculate. See. It moved up by uh, 0 0.5 and it moved down by 0 0.48. Why? Because the delta of the put option is negative. Why? Because it has to reduce its intrinsic value as the underlying moves up. So that is from the delta front. Now coming to theta. Theta it is very simple, very straightforward. How much time will affect our option premium is shown to us by theta. If I hold that option for one additional day, how much option premium will be decayed because of passage of time is shown to us by theta. Say for an instance that I have an option of 19700 strike price call. If the option is trading at 100 rupees today and if all the factors in the market remain the same, 
but the same option will not be trading at 100 rupees tomorrow why because i have moved one day closer to the expiry so that is with theta theta shows us how much time will take away its premium okay time will take away from its premium so now let's see 8.4 and 8.4 roughly let's say i want to calculate as on saturday so if you see obviously the market is closed on saturday but you know you can still calculate because it is just an hypothetical figure that we are trying to pull out okay yes but by the way the theta it also decays when the market is closed so see it has come down to 95 it has come down to 89 now coming to the other greek which is vega it shows us the impact of volatility on our option premium how much movement in volatility would affect our option premium is shown to us by vega so if you see vega it is 9.19 for call 9.19 for put now what it is trying to tell us that if volatility moves up by 1 percentage then the call option it will move up by 9.19 rupees and the put option would also move up by 9.19 rupees so let's see okay now you see there was roughly a 9.19 rupees jump in both the call and put option if i do it once again you will see the impact see both call and put option moved up if the volatility collapses then obviously the options will also become much more cheap so that is from vega what is vega vega is trying to show us how much the implied volatility affects our option premium okay and now comes uh, gamma gamma is nothing but the speed at which the delta changes okay so as we move closer towards the expiry the gamma it kind of increases leading to more faster moves in delta okay so this is from the greeks front now how i do how i go ahead and use this thing okay now first thing is if i want to go ahead and buy a call option so let me just take you to architect now so we understood the impact of greeks now let's just you understand how can we use it while building a strategy let's say nifty and let's say long call okay so i have dip, uh, you know created a strategy long call i have buying option over here now i know that theta is negative it will kill my premium from here so to tackle this what i can do is i can simply convert it into a bull call spread now how do i go about it is i simply sell one strike out of the money call option and this is how it will look now if you see that theta which was 300 it is now just 117 the net theta now over here you are also getting the vega benefit that means if you are expecting some kind of jump to happen in implied volatility still you are making 140 rupees out of vega on a single lot that means if volatility even if it goes up by 1 percentage still you will make 140 rupees roughly on vega now the idea of doing this bull call spread is now imagine that you don't have this leg okay imagine that you don't have 19 uh, 900 strike price call now you are exposed on theta you have a bullish view but you are exposed on theta of roughly 400 then you are exposed on vega as well roughly 500 imagine a scenario wherein the underlying doesn't give the movement that you expected that you expected some kind of an bullishness to happen in nifty but there was no bullishness which came in and eventually the market remained sideways and implied volatility it kind of collapsed by one or two percentage now the problem there would be you will lose theta roughly 400 and one or two percentage drop in vega or drop in iv i'm sorry drop in iv will lead to a vega loss of roughly 1000 so the problem is taking an undefined uh, not undefined but taking uh, theta and uh, vega loss over there on a naked option so for that the simplest way of getting rid of that is just convert your strategy into a bull call spread which will make it much more hedged and much more easier strategy to manage so yes folks that was it from this video thank you so much for staying tuned along with me up till here see you all in the next video